Hello there, are you using 4000D camera? Are you planning to buy a 4000D camera? Here is what I got for you. The unboxing of the 4000D camera. Sit tight, watch. You'll get to decide if to buy the camera or not to buy the camera. So we have our 4000D camera and uh, this camera was uh, launched in 2018. Yeah, it's a beginner's camera. It's actually an entry in the, in the DSLR photography. So we'll have to check it out. Yeah. Two years warranty. It comes with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. So let's see what we got here. All right. Not bad. Getting started with 2000D. So this is probably a charger. The charger, this is probably the charger. Charger. Then this one looks like the handle. Not the handle, but the yeah, this. This one is also another charger. Actually, it has two chargers. Not the charger, but the, yeah, the cable chargers. These are the cables that you connect the socket and apply to the adapter to charge your battery. You can use this, you can use this. And this is our LPE10 battery. This is our LP10 battery. Let's put it there. And now let's get in here. What do we have here? Oh, this is the adapter. Is to charge. This is where we put our, our battery. This is where we put our battery. Then we apply our charger here. Then you connect your charger. Then you plug this one. This you plug to the socket. Then uh, it starts to charge. This place it appear it appears red, orange, orange color. When full, it actually indicates here it's a green, green color. I need a, a, enough working space to put this one away for a second. 
Okay, let's get to this. This is about the Canon, the release of the the camera. We have our lens. Wow, the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. Actually, it's very very nice. As you can see, this is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. With an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6. Yeah, that's the lead. Open we close. Yeah, you can see here the Canon Zoom Lens EFS 18 to 55 millimeter 3.5 to 5.6. That is the aperture. Mm. And this is the camera now. This is the body of the camera. The body of our camera. D. It is very very nice. This is where we put. Uh, this is the port for the stand. Yeah. Port for the stand. This is where you plug this on. Is this inside here? That one goes there and this one goes there. So actually you can use it for safety purposes. You hang it around your neck so the camera doesn't drop. Yeah, or just put it there. So a 4000D camera here, it has the buttons. Actually, it is not, it has a fixed screen, then uh, it is not touch screen, I think so. Yeah, it is not touch screen. We have a microphone here. Mm -hmm. This is the shutter button. This one you can use to scroll maybe through the ISO, you scroll the pictures. And this one is you can switch it off, on. Actually, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna try to put a battery. I don't know it, if it has a charge, but let's see. So, here actually, it is indicated the card here, the card the battery you open that is where you put your your battery to to the, the those other cameras such as the 800d they actually have a space here so that you can put your battery for the to supply your camera with the constant power supply so that when you are actually doing the live view live view when you're live streaming your camera doesn't go off so with this camera actually we have the card and the battery placed at the bottom but as you can compare with the 800d camera we have the battery 
this side and the card this side too yeah so here we have a uh, HDMI and the this you connect the cable here to your PC maybe you want to transfer some photos to your personal computer mm. we want to live you shoot all right actually this is the handle when you want to shoot you have to use this handle this is the handle here some photographers use this <laughs> actually this is madness you can't use this side this is the place this is the eyepiece this is the eyepiece okay i will turn on my camera now it is off but on you just switch it either this way it goes on or this way so there is no card in the camera now let's see if i can find one then i'll show you so you can use the eyepiece to shoot or the live view shoot live view just click on this one then it changes what else it has an uh, internal flash overhead flash here you can see actually it works wow this is the flash and here you can connect your external flash microphone up here external microphone like the lavalia microphones this is the zooming in zooming out Mm -hmm. the menu the scroll buttons okay i'll show you how to connect your lens to your to the body of the camera so this is what we do we'll open our lens this is the lens open it then you come to the body open it too so when you want to connect actually this body you want to put your lens into the body of the camera you have to match see these white marks you have to make sure that the, this white mark here actually it matches with this one so this is what we do you can see I'm matching my white marks match them then you do that way at L you hear a clicking sound when you hear that clicking sound it's actually connected but when you want to remove your lens from the camera you you press this button here this is the camera just press the button then boom that is how you put the lens and remove the lens from the camera um let's do it again i'm gonna use it so that so there are some cameras that uh, when you want to insert the lens to the body of the camera you need to the 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 lenses the lenses have the red marks as you can see here there is a red mark and a white mark and this lens only has what the white mark so you match the white mark to the red mark some lenses have the red mark so you just match the red mark to the red mark okay So I'm gonna try to use a camera. So it has the manual focus. Actually my camera right now it it is on the manual focus here. 
can see the MF. The MF indicates the manual focus and the AF is the auto focus. The manual focus, you can use it like let's say this way. I hope you can see this very well. The manual focus, you can uh, refine your the the image by use by just manually rotating the upper part of the lens. You can see. Let me go back to the live view. You see, when I'm rotating the camera, actually, you see. It is growing, it is getting clearer and clearer and blurry. But in uh, the autofocus, you just place, uh, place your finger on the shooting part, the shooting button, then you long press, as you can see. It's working, it's taking the photo, but there is no card in the camera, that's why it can't save the photo. Yeah, there is no card in the camera, you can't see the photo right now. Okay, so another thing is uh, let's get to the menu, let's get to the menu. Here in the menu, here, we have our image quality, image quality, it can be L, actually, I do use the L, because actually the part L, L looks good to me. You can try the uh, row plus L, row plus L is also good. Then beep, have the release citation, the dot, card, image review, the live view shoot is enabled, this is this part here, then the F mode, F mode, here, yeah, F mode, you have this, when you have this one, actually you see this box here, you just focus it, you see, when I'm focusing it on the black part, Actually, it grows, it gets brighter, but when I go to the white side, it gets darker. So that is the, that's the AF mode on the flexi zone, autofocus. Then the live mode, live mode, it actually detects your face. It detect, it detects your face. The face of the person then uh, quick mode mm. grid display protect images your size you have the histogram auto power rotate brightness date wi-fi function you can disable the Wi-Fi or you can enable the Wi-Fi. Okay, there is one thing about the enabling the Wi-Fi and uh, disabling the Wi-Fi. Here, there is something that you all should know. When uh, when you are using this this the HDMI or the USB part USB ports to connect whether to your camera or, or to uh, com uh, connecting the camera to your PC or your screen to maybe view the photos on the screen or your TV you have to make sure that the Wi-Fi part is disabled actually when when you when you enable it it actually shows you setting Wi-Fi to enable will disable all connections for digital and HDMI terminals so when the uh, Wi-Fi is enabled you you can't use these ports here they don't work 
so that's why you need to put them on the disable and this wi-fi actually it's very nice actually getting a camera with the wi-fi in built you get to transfer your photos to your smartphone but the 4000d camera you can't transfer the photos you can't uh, use it in a laptop via wi-fi i don't know maybe it doesn't have the energy fc i don't know okay so the wi-fi function when we get the wi-fi function transfer images between cameras connect to smartphone print then web function upload to web service all right that's all with the menu then this button is where you okay i'm i'm gonna just give me a sec i'm gonna try to search if i have my oh, my card just a second Okay, here it is. This card is 16 GB card. 16 GB. Let me start it. I don't know if it has some photos, but let me turn off my camera first. Then I insert the card, the camera. Okay, turn it on. So let's see. Actually, it has a photo. Yeah. So this part here, when you click that, when you press the button, it gives you the photo that you recently shot. Then this one, you, you can use it to zoom. Zoom into the photo. See that? just zoom then this one you zoom out you zoom in you zoom in you zoom out all right what else i think we are done Okay, thank you guys for watching that video. Please, if there is something you need me to know, give me a comment down there. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and remember to turn on the notifications down there and you'll get to not to miss any video on the 4000D camera. Sit tight. Next time I'll be releasing the video test on the 4000D camera. So, if you don't subscribe, I will get the notification. Please subscribe, guys. Turn on the notifications. Bye.